I want to see the... It may be time to return to Norway. Sigurd is eager to see his father and... And beyond that, I do not know. I have heard ill news about Styrbjorn in the past year. If you go, go with care. We will leave now, and return as soon as we're able. Good. And be safe. Both of you. Birna, welcome to the Raven Clan's nest. Good to be here, Sunbeam. The people here seem a mixed bag of nuts and seeds. I feel right at home. You are at home. Settle in and get a feel for the place. We will be heading out soon enough. Of course. A quick drink and a friendly brawl, and I will be ready for the raids ahead. Need something? Sigurd. Shall we then, Eivor? To Norway, and well beyond. To Norway, then. Good, good! Lead on! strange. Little has changed, but it feels unfamiliar. A few years abroad have shaped us more than all the decades we spent here, brother. And it's bloody cold. Colder than I remember. Sing us a song. There are seas called the London. Some years ago, I took to sea with a sword dancer called Aeid. A brooding warrior with a face of stone and oak hard arms. On a raid in Corland, we shored up along the edge of a forest and explored until we came to People Parts, a large farm. This is Harold's Fair Hair's kingdom now. Every peak and fjord. It pains me to say it, to think it even. And our father is full, the poor man. It is a role he chose. He bent easily and broke in half. Do not pity him. No. For many moons I could not sleep, always thinking of his betrayal. The horrors I wished upon him. He deserves nothing but shame now. Put it out of your mind, Sigurd. There's no need to hound the old man. No. He must taste the same foulness that I taste. He must know what glory he missed by staying here, the lapdog of a conqueror. You want to speak with him? Yes. Face to face. I will tell him Fail the truth. Down.
Förumaður, brjóta eitthvað! Let's have a song. Starts. It thrives, in spite of our father, no doubt. Are you sure of this? I will say what needs to be said. Do you fear his rebuke? Oh, no. I crave it. It may be the old hound has lost his bark. But maybe you will light a fire beneath him, inspire him with tales of our glory. If I do, I'll stoke that flame until it burns. Drop the sail! What was it, Randy said? Our father spends his days in the meat halls and his nights in barren planks of wood. That's right. We'll search the meat halls. Go, my eyes. Hey, we were speaking. We'll search the meat halls. I remember one nearby. Stretch your wings, Zunan. Where did we leave off? Ah, I remember one nearby. A sad hole where men soak their unhappiness. Into his we should look there. Once, come empty-handed. Not I've even a gift to offer. A we should go. Look at him. Father. Sigurd? My son, Eivor, by Odin's blessing, come and let me look at you Stop. both. That is far enough. Blood of cheer. What happened there? A grievous wound you have. Are you well? Far better than I look, I assure you. This... this calls for a toast. Your journey must have been long and cold. A drink to warm your blood! We are not here to drink or make merry. Only to look upon the rackets of a once great man. And then what? Make new war against King Harald? Stake a claim on his crown? Is that your wish? To sow more chaos here? <laughs> You're absurd, old man. What could po interest you? You robbed me of my wealth when you left for England. I presume you would do it again. Not my idea. You left us with nothing when you pledged for King Harald. We took only what we deserved. <laughs> I have returned for one reason only. To say goodbye. And to thank you. Failure? As a father. As a king. As a man. For without it, I would not have discovered my true self. My failure, as you call it. My oath to King Harald was the only sensible path forward for a man in my seat. It was your right to pledge your crown to another. And I know you did what you thought best for the safety of our clan. As Harald's forces advanced, I knew we did not have the strength to oppose him. We were too disorganized, too weak. With the sun ever absent, 
always off raiding in some far-flung land, never concerned with the duties of kingship. What choice did I have but to pledge my allegiance to him? A man with ambition and an army to match it. Absent? I acted only as the son of a king must, to earn you riches. To... The people of Constantinople had no use for my name, Sigurd. I listened to this weeping o- I wish you whatever peace you may find in this new life you have found. I did not find it, Eivor. I chose it. The only way forward that did not lead your father would have understood. He died to avoid a similar fate. To save... No. My father, he... He was... He loved you. That is all. Argon nonsense. I've heard enough. Sigurd. From the day you were born, I wanted nothing more than to pass. But one year is never like another. And with the passage of time, certain truths appeared. One of ours was the last kingdom in Norway to resist Harald's advance. To oppose him would have been our death. You do not know that. We could have fought back. We could have, yes. And suffered countless deaths for no other reason than to protect our pride. We will never know the truth. Because you were too afraid to risk it. Look after him, Eivor. And if you have the chance, lead him back from the edge of the abyss. He's my brother, not my dog. Be well, old man, and serve your king with honor. This sad business is finished. And good riddance. And now we sail for further shores. To my true purpose. To my destiny. To the end of my road. I will follow you as far as you wish in this world, brother. But if you mean to take us further, I may reconsider. I do not think you will, Eivor. I think you will marvel at what I have to show you. Still dwelling on your father? Not at all. I was only reflecting on my visions, wondering at them. How press. Describe them for me, your visions. My earliest was of a large door embedded in ice, far north of Hördafilke. The saga stone embedded at the top of its arch. As the visions grew stronger, the door opened, revealing many things. The life tree Yggdrasil, the golden fields of Valhalla, and the faces of our gods, all of whom called me friend, brother, warrior. I felt at home among them, warmed by their love. You should know, you are not alone in this. I too... Have you? And what did they foretell? It is hard to say. I've seen Odin leading me into shadows. I've seen spinners weaving wild destinies from pools of blood. I saw the great beast Fenrir, the branches of the world tree, and a man with... Go on. Valka warned me of a great betrayal. But what form it takes, I cannot say. I see. I hold to my oath, Sigurd. You know that. It's your... Of course not. You are a stalwart as a pillar of stone. Come now. My destiny awaits. And the Liga Erat Geras! Bless our passage. Yes. I feel a great calm as we cross these waves. This ordeal with the elf king, Alfred, 
How far have you pushed him? Does he bend? Will he break? Guthrum's army will be chasing him across Wessex now. With luck, he will push Alfred into the sea. Strange how these earthly concerns seem so distant to me. But we've gained so much in England. We stand to win even more. The Christians are hardy foes. They see one man above who holds the axe. One man higher than us all. That is a powerful feud. woman, Fulke. In my time with her, as painful as it was, she showed me things. Things so strange and wonderful, I am almost grateful for her treachery. What she did to you was cruel beyond measure. Yet, with every snap of the flame, with every scar, the loss of my arm, my visions grew stronger. If you can find the good in that, fine. She was as mad as the ocean is wide. Even the mad ones can offer wisdom. Their Jesus was an odd fellow. Now half the known world loves him. And no one believed us when we were young, and we chiseled our plans onto tables in meat halls. Not even my father. There is the secret I know well. Can we not return to England and finish together what we began? No, forget all that. The future is forward. A great wealth awaits us. I'm with you, brother. Until the end. A white rage stands in our way. Keep moving forward! Do you know the way? As I know my own mind! We will cut through this winter sheet like swords through straw! Do not worry! To Paris on a lonely fjord! We'd be the shame of our clan! Ha! That we would!